Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So if you haven't noticed, there's been a new game called Helldivers 2, which has gotten so much success and many players have been enjoying it. Now, I haven't played the game myself, but by the way it looks or what I've seen, you basically drop onto planets through like this cool drop pod system, something like you'd see in ODST, except of course this is Helldivers 2. And yeah, you drop onto planets battling a ton of enemies and I guess doing like missions and stuff and yeah so many people have been enjoying it there's been a lot of funny clips I've seen online now you may be asking why the heck am I even talking about this game as it has nothing to do with Halo so let's get right into that and this all started with a couple tweets that were made on Twitter. The first one being Ubernix tweet saying that Helldivers 2 makes me want Halo to do something similar so bad. It is so much fun. And he continues to like pitch his idea. ODST's landing on a planet to fight off the flood, banished in Prometheans. He continues to say I can only dream. And yeah, I mean that sounds great. Sounds fun. I mean I'd really enjoy that. I'm sure many would. And so as soon as he posted that there was actually I think like two 343 devs, X343 devs that no longer work on Halo but did before that actually did end up deleting their post which is kind of funny so i'm not gonna out them i'm not gonna say who it was because i guess they take back what they said i don't know there's probably some reason for it but they posted these two gifs which is the spongebob one where he's just in the i think at the end of the world or something that one episode where he's just in that bar and the other one which has nathan fillion seeming like he wants to say something but he can't and um, yeah so they're pretty much just saying that man if you would have known what we had in the studio or what we had going on you'd be shocked is pretty much what i'm getting from that and yeah so it's been getting a lot of traction because you know who wouldn't want more halo games that explore the universe because there's so much stuff that they can cover and i guess some people also saw it as they had an idea that was similar to hell divers 2 which is definitely interesting and there was even more 343 x343 devs coming out on this one saying that they must have pitched 20 to 30 game ideas over the 12 years he was there. That would have totally worked in the Halo universe. Many single player and multiplayer ODST themed ones. Some galaxy spanning, some more intimate, and one that was really dark. Now I feel like this is kind of natural, right? A lot of game studios kind of like talk about where they want to take the franchise next and stuff like that. I'm actually kind of not surprised that this is a thing, right? I mean, it sucks hearing about it because, you know, it would be awesome seeing all these games come to fruition but i think that's just kind of like a natural dev cycle right where they just throw ideas out there some things work some things don't some things never get made but yeah it really is unfortunate because i would have loved to see some kind of another odst spin-off maybe the continuation of halo 3 odst maybe like a sequel to that or just something differently or something just different entirely like i think there's so much genres they can explore with the halo franchise like make an extraction shooter a battle royale as much as people hate it it would probably be a good spin-off at least halo wars 3 would have been nice i mean they've they've done some spin-offs like halo wars is a perfect example it's an rts game and it did pretty well so yeah i would have loved to see more stuff like that and of course people have wanted like a horror type game i think it would have been cool if they made like a survival horror something similar to like resident evil except of course in the halo universe i think that itself would be absolutely crazy but yeah it's sad that some of this stuff never sees the light and some people have been blaming microsoft which definitely does you know affect what they make and stuff but i mean i think it's just a combination of the two i think it's just 343 and Microsoft, you know, I don't think you can really separate those two. I mean, Bungie worked under Microsoft and they made amazing games. I know they had some like bad blood with Microsoft when they were making like Halo 3 ODST, Reach, and all that stuff. But you know, they still made pretty incredible games, so I don't see why people are entirely blaming it on Microsoft. I'm sure they have part in it, but I don't think it's just their fault. So he continues to say that he's been in game development for almost 30 years and that they've probably pitched well over a hundred games. And he continues to say there's thousands of reasons they don't get made. It's rarely corporal greed or some other nefarious reason. I find it's a lot about timing. And this is where I think like, if it really is about timing, they really need to like give the Halo franchise to other studios so they can make like spin-offs and stuff. Because I'm sure 343 can only make so much. I mean, that's why the spin-offs like Halo Wars, and I think Spartan Assault, or I, or I don't know if 343 made that one on their own, but I know they assisted on some of these, but, you know, they have other studios work on these spin-offs like Halo Wars 2 and Halo Wars. I think it's just the most obvious one. And I'd love to see them continue doing stuff like that. Maybe get like other studios on Halo to make different kinds of games. It definitely is unfortunate. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It, it does suck because there's so much potential in this franchise that you could do. There's just so many things you can do. 
it's actually crazy that not many have been done it's always just been about master chief as much as i like master chief you know the halo universe is bigger than just spartans and chief although i'm sure that's what sells the most so that's probably why they stick to that anyways here's hoping that with the new team at 343 maybe they can somehow come up with some kind of spin-off i know last time they talked about the future of halo they said that they were accelerating towards different new projects he didn't just say one project so meaning there's probably going to be maybe a spin-off we'll see we'll see in the future maybe anyway just wanted to make a quick video on this let me know what you guys think i think it's definitely unfortunate but i feel like this is kind of something that always happens in really any game studio uh you know they always pitch ideas and stuff and of course a lot of them get dropped i think it just really gained traction because you know people want to see more stuff done with the halo franchise so with that being said consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoy content like this and i'll see you guys on the next one peace